So let's talk about this. Pokemon Go happened. It was great. A lot of people loved it. People had critiques, but you know, they eventually got to fixing it. Ingress happened. I played it for like a week. I don't I don't really know what happened there. Something happened. It was a thing for some reason. And now we have a chance to make an AR game that is successful. And that game is Minecraft Earth. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mars, welcome to another video, I hope you are having a wonderful day. So as many of you know, I am a huge fan of Minecraft. Not like I'm going to decorate my room like Minecraft, but you know, I'm a relatively big fan of Minecraft. It's been there for a quite a while in my life. I have this book, so you know I'm a pro, along with like a lot of other Minecraft books that I don't think we have time to share right now. So yeah, you can tell Minecraft has been a big part of my life. I've even done streams on it. So when I heard that they're releasing a Minecraft, like, Pokemon Go style game, I got hyped. I'm really excited, I signed up for the beta, I haven't been able to test anything yet, but I hope I will soon. Not the point. <laughs> as far as I know so far, it's going to be free later this year. I don't know if it's going to be free 100% because it's a Minecraft game. You know, the crew is probably putting a lot of hours into this new project. Could cost something, a price similar to a uh, Pocket Edition Minecraft. I've just been looking into this uh, thing a lot and I'm just really excited to see how it goes. But I'm also afraid when thinking about what the game is going to be like because I know if I get my expectations too high, I will cry because it, it won't, it, there's going to be something that just isn't the way I like it, and then I'm going to be like, oh no, it isn't the way I like it, oh, I'm going to cry. Don't cry over video games. But basically, the theme of today's video is just talking about what Minecraft world needs to do right uh, to make it a, like, the best game it could be. So just starting with the player, really, uh, let's just, like, go from the out inside out. I'm assuming they're going to have all the inventory slots that a regular Minecraft player would have. I assume they're also going and have access to shulker boxes that they can use to put materials inside, you know, that kind of thing. I assume you can place storage units places and then you can open it up and then get it later. I'm also hoping you can use skins, like upload your own skin, that, that should be a thing. Along with skins, I'm hoping that if you are near other people in game, you're able to see other player models, if there aren't too many. You should be able to see your friend's player models on your phone in the game. It says here on its page, Minecraft has always been a game about creativity, but Minecraft Earth gives you the chance to express yourself on a whole new scale. Share your masterpieces and dwell into others' creation. In the trailer, if you remember it, if you watched it, which you probably should, there's uh, a link. You can go watch the that video right now and just see what it's all about and then come back here. So yes, other people's creations. So I assume this means you're going to, like, you're going to build something somewhere and then if somebody else comes by, they can see that I placed a, you know, uh, an obsidian block wherever I put it. it like, it's, everything is an open world and everything that you do, everybody else can see. That's, that's what I'm gathering from these few words. I mean, they're being very vague on what they're describing to us also because I think they might not have a great idea as to what they're doing yet. They're still working it out. So also on the page describing the new game, it says, Collect! Minecraft Earth features many of the mobs you know and love along with a bunch of new ones. Now, when they say new ones, I think when they say new ones, maybe they're describing like the key mob from uh, Minecraft Dungeons, which is coming out soon. I haven't looked a lot into that game, but I know the key mob is something. I, I, I really don't know what his deal is, but he's cute. He's cute. I can imagine him putting on a tiny little hat. Somebody draw that, please. It also says, over time, you'll get the chance to breed unique variants and use them to populate your builds. So it looks like DNA splicing is gonna be a thing. I don't know what that means, uh, really. Uh, I wonder if they mean like you're gonna be able to combine a creeper and a chicken if you want. I don't know how I feel about that. It, yes, it's a daring move to try to introduce new stuff, but I think that might be a thing for later down the line, like for an update later. I mean, it isn't like a battle game, it's just a creation game, so I don't really think you would really need like to genetically splice your own mobs to protect your base. I, I don't really don't know. But bringing up mobs also brings up the interesting question of will we be seeing the Ender Dragon and the Wither? Will those be like events? Sort of like how in Pokemon Go that works. If that's the case, I think that'd be very cool. On well, the next tab it says collaborate. Meet up with like-minded crafters and create masterpieces together. 
Work on a smaller scale with friends before taking your builds out into the wild at full size. You can either team up with others for mini adventures. Um, I think this could mean that they're going to be doing some kind of MCP. I don't know how to describe it really. Like I can imagine what might happen is they're going to give you a world and like in Minecraft and say, hey, you have a Minecraft world account linked. Good for you. Um, go ahead, team up with your friends in Minecraft Pocket Edition and build whatever you want. They will restrict your items, I assume, because you only have what items they give you in the first place. Place. What I imagine will happen, they won't give you all of the blocks available. I think they'll just give you the blocks that you already have in your Minecraft world inventory, if that makes sense. So you can build whatever you want in a more manageable form before like saying, hey, this is this is what I built. Take it out into the <laughs> wild at full size. Another thing that catches my interest, it says you can even team up with others for mini adventures. So when it says mini adventures, I assume it means like finding the ender dragon as I mentioned before, fighting the wither, mini adventures, like events, like I mentioned before. Getting back to the topic of having, you know, your inventories imported into Minecraft Pocket Edition, in Minecraft World itself, I'm sure there will be a, like, a full-out crafting system for everything, like, you'll see your inventory, you'll select what you want, and then you'll use it and, and build what you need. Another tab, it says explore! Your real-life neighborhood takes on a whole new dimension thanks to Minecraft Earth. Gather resources, take on challenges, and share your imagination with others. There's a whole new world to discover. Gather resources. As I said, that's that's going to be incorporated into the possible, hopeful crafting system. Like, you can build whatever you want to get whatever resources you need. But on a lot of the screenshots, it just doesn't show everything made out of Minecraft blocks. So you, it's not like you can just run out into the wild to find whatever you need. So I think... I think there might be a, a different thing going on here. It's kind of hard to describe what I'm imagining, but it's sort of like in Pokemon Go, a Pokestop, right? You go to a Pokestop, you spin it, you get whatever you need from it. So in this, I kind of imagine, you know, landmarks and stuff, you can be opened up into this area and you can mine whatever you need from the area. You see a, like a church or something, and you're saying, hey, let's stop by the church. I need some stone. So you get out of your car, you walk to the church, and and you get out your phone and you start mining at VR blocks that are like surrounding this hotspot, you know, this church. And honestly, if that's the case, that's perfect. That is like the perfect way to do it. That's, that's, that's how I see it should be played out. Along with that, I wouldn't be surprised if there were item rewards, um, coming from mob battles like you know, fighting the Ender Dragon, as I mentioned. So I think you could get, you know, like 20 diamonds for defeating the Ender Dragon. Go you. Like in one of these picks, it also shows, you know, them bringing up uh, an Enderman, which is quite interesting because that means there's also hostile mobs in the new game, which also enters, you know, the realm of combat system. I mean, you can probably craft everything, so you probably can craft a sword. That means you can also fight things as boss battles. I keep going back to boss battles. As I said, you can probably fight uh, different enemies enemies, zombies, creepers, whatever. So I'm just curious how that battle system is going to go out. Is it going to be like an encounter system, like how Pokemon Go had it, or is it going to be just, hey, they're approaching, point your phone at it and swing your sword? There's a lot of questions and I'm really excited to actually figure out what they do in the end game of this. I I'm just really excited to, to uh, try out the game for the first time. I might do a video on it once it actually comes out, if I, if I find it worth like, not worthy, just interesting enough to do a video on. I'm sure it will be, but, you know, recording is always an issue. Now, all in all, though, I think uh, Minecraft Earth is going to be a wonderful game to play and just mess around with once it comes out. I think it will have the same sort of effect that Pokemon Go had back in 2016. The hype could go all the way up and then all the way back down again. I'm sure a lot of old players, you know, since the first betas ever came out, are really excited for this game just to see what they do. Other than that, yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, that's all I really have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and press the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, just short announcements from me. The merch store is currently broken, and I am working on fixing it. Currently, we're sitting at, let's see here, 8,602 subscribers. So that's sick. At this rate, I probably will be reaching 10,000 quite sooner than anticipated. With this being said, along the bottom edge of the video, once I hit 10k, you'll be able to see like all the merch options, which I realized I'll have to make like individual products for. It's fine. But I'm gonna get the merch shop fixed soon. Other than that, uh, 
if you're wanting to buy merch, just wait, wait for me. <laughs> yes, other than that, I don't think I really have anything else to say. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, a good morning, a good night. Um, yes, I will see you all, uh, all later. Bye.